there's been a lot of discussion across American higher education for the last decade about what it would take to really prepare students for a global century, for uh, a knowledge economy, for the high volatility and turbulence of the work environment they'll be entering or are already in, and for the challenges that face our democracy. So um, there's a lot of discussion about the learning outcomes students need. When students are doing engaging, challenging, rigorous work, they make gains on these outcomes, but on any campus about half the students are not engaged in rigorous work and are not making gains. So I shorthand all this by saying we know what works, we know what we want students to learn, and we know what practices help them get there, but only about half of our students are even near the goal. The problem is that we don't know what our degrees mean. All we know is that if you want a bachelor's degree, you're going to have 128 credits and 2.75 GPA or higher, 40 credits in your major, and goodbye, that's it. It doesn't tell the student um, what it is they did to earn the degree or what was required to earn the degree outside of us uh, accumulating these credits. What we're saying is that higher education ought to be clear about what students should learn and institutions should be clear about how they will enable students to get to that point. And that is a principle that translates even at the level of the classroom. Faculty love to talk about learning. I mean, that's, that's what they do. But if you, if you lead with tests and measurements, you, you frequently have, uh, have a problem. I think that once this gets translated into the concrete, how, how, how does a, a student in my class manifest these abilities, and how can I design learning situations where these are demanded and where we can get uh, actual student work uh, that is exhibiting these qualities? I think that will be the breakthrough moment. We have to embrace an ethic of teaching as community responsibility and ask the department to take a, lo a look at what, go what should go on in a 100-level course, a 200-level course, a 300-level course. One of the important messages of the degree profile is its invitation to faculty to think together what are the kinds of practices that our program, our department, our major, ought to expect of all students in order to build their competencies that they need given this institution, given this field of study, given the world beyond college.